the stew tonight. And that's just what it means. This is how hobos used to make it. You can use any kind of meat you want. Leftover meat, leftover pork chops, pork loin, roast, whatever. I have hamburgers, so I brown some hamburger meat in my Instapot. And it's just dumpy things in here. So I have one can of diced tomatoes. And I have one can of uh, cannelloni beans. And you can use whatever kind of beans you want. You don't have to use beans. It's kind of versatile. It's really easy to make. One can of corn. This is just how I like to make it. One can of green beans. One and a half cups of uh, beef bouillon. Two medium potatoes chopped up. And some barbecue sauce. And if you have the smoky kind, it gives it a real good smoky flavor. But we like Sweet Baby Ray's, and that is what I'm going to use. I'm going to do two-thirds of a cup. If I can pull this. All in there. And I'm going to get a little stir. Get it all mixed up. You can season it however you want. You could do hot dogs, smoked sausage, pork and beans, whatever kind. It, that's how the hobos did it. Me a day. We cooked it yesterday. It didn't cook fast enough, so we went out and ate dinner last night. So we're going to have this for lunch today. It is a new Instapot to me, so it took me a little bit to try to figure out how to put it on the right settings. So the stew looks great. I'm going to turn the camera down a little bit so you can see how it looks. All right. And a little bit of cornbread on the side. And that is our lunch today. So this can be made with any kind of meat that you want. You just throw it all in there. That's why it's called hobo stew because that's how the hobos made it. Um, that's where it got its name from. So I hope you like this and try it. Let me know what you think about it. I will see you in the next video. Hi everyone, your baking tip for today is when you're making your own whipped cream, make sure your bowl is refrigerated really well. I use powdered sugar, so sprinkle the powdered sugar in the bottom of the bowl and then pour your cream on top. It makes it thicker, creamier, and then put it back in the refrigerator and get it colder. Tastes great. See you next time. Bye.